O oh, my father, ancient, hallowed, lonely, disappointed father, betrayed, rejected ruler of the universe, angry, wrinkled old majesty, I want to pray. I want to say Kaddish. My own Kaddish. There may be no one to say it after me. I have so little time as you well know. Is my end a minute away, an hour? Is there even time to consider the question? It could be here, while we are singing, that we may be stopped once and for all, cut off in the act of praising you. But while I have breath, however brief, I will sing this final Kaddish for you, for me, and for all these I love here in this sacred house. I want to pray, and time is short. Amen. Magnified. and sanctified. Be the great name Amen.
Father, Shlema Rabbah, may abundant peace descend on us. Amen. Great God, you who make peace in the high places, who commanded the morning since the days began, and caused the dawn to know its place, surely you can cause and command a touch of order here below, on this one dazed speck. Let us say again. Amen. With amen on my lips, I approach your presence, Father, not with fear, but with a certain respectful fury. Do you not recognize my voice? I am that part of man you made to suggest his immortality. You surely remember, Father, the part that refuses death, that insists on you, divines your grace, guesses your grace, and always you have heard my voice, and always you have answered me with a rainbow, a raven, a plague, something. But now I see nothing. This time you show me nothing at all. Are you listening, Father? You know who I am. Your image, that stubborn reflection of you, that man has shattered, extinguished, banished, and now he runs free, free to play with his newfound fire, avid for death. 
voluptuous, complete, and final death. Lord God of hosts, I call you to account. You let this happen, Lord of hosts. You, with your manna, your pillar of fire, you ask for faith. Where is your own? Why have you taken away your rainbow? That pretty bow you tied round your finger to remind you never to forget your promise. For lo, I do set my bow in the cloud and I will look upon it that I may remember my everlasting covenant. Your covenant, your bargain with man. Tin God. Your bargain is tin, it crumples in my hand. And where is your faith now, yours or mine? Forgive me, Father. I was mad with fever. Have I hurt you? Forgive me. I forgot you too 
are vulnerable, but yours was the first mistake, creating man in your own image, tender, fallible. <laughs> Dear God, you must suffer so far away, ruefully eyeing your two-footed handiwork, frail, foolish, mortal. My sorrowful father, if I could comfort you, hold you against me, rock you, and rock you into sleep. Thank you. 
Rest, my father. Sleep. Dream. Let me invent your dream. Dream it with you as gently as I can. And perhaps in my dreaming, I can help you recreate your image and love him again. I'll take you to your favorite star, most worthy of your creation. And hand in hand, we'll watch in wonder the workings of perfectedness. This is your kingdom of heaven, Father, just as you planned it. Every immortal cliche intact. Lambs frisk, wheat ripples, sunbeams dance. Something is wrong. The light is flat, the air sterile. Do you know what is wrong? There is nothing to dream, nowhere to go, nothing to do. And in these, the creatures of your kingdom, these smiling, serene, and painless people, are they too created in your image? You are serenity, but rage as well, I know. I have borne it. You are hope, but also regret, I know. You have regretted me, but not these. The perfected ones, they are beyond regret or hope. They do not exist, Father, not even in the light years of our dream. Now let me show you a dream to remember. Come back with me to the star of regret. Come back, Father, where dreaming is real and pain is possible. Pain so possible, you will have to believe it. And in pain, you will recognize your image at last. Now, behold my kingdom of Earth. Real life marvels, genuine wonders, 
dazzling miracles. Look, a burning bush. Look, a fiery wheel, a ram, a rock. Shall I smite it? There, it gushes, it gushes, and I did it. I am creating this dream. Now will you believe? I have you, Father, locked in my dream, and you must remain till the final scene. Now, look up, hi, what do you see? A rainbow, which I have created for you. My promise, my covenant. Look at it, Father. Believe, believe. Look at my rainbow and say after me. Magnify and sanctify. Be the great name of man. The colors of my rainbow are blinding, Father, and they hurt your eyes, I know. But don't close them now. Don't turn away. Look. Do you see how simple and peaceful it all becomes once you believe? Believe. yet. However great your pain, I will suffer. I will help you suffer. Believe. Believe in me and you shall see the kingdom of heaven on earth. Just as you planned it. Believe. Believe. See how my rainbow lights the scene. The voices of your children call from corner to corner. 
chanting your praises. rainbow is fading, our dream is over. We must wake up now, and the dawn is chilly. The dawn is chilly, but the dawn has come. Father, we've won another day. We have dreamt our Kaddish and awakened alive. Good morning, Father. We can still be immortal, you and I, bound by our rainbow. 
That is our covenant. And to honor it is our honor. Not quite the covenant we bargained for so long ago, at the time of that other first rainbow. But then I was only your helpless infant, arms hard round you, dead without you. We have both grown older, you and I, and I am not sad. And you must not be sad. Unfurrow your brow. Look tenderly again at me, at us, at all these children of God here in this sacred house, and you shall look tenderly back. O oh, my Father, Lord of Light, beloved Majesty, my image, myself, we are one after all, you and I. Together we suffer, together we exist, and forever we recreate each other. Recreate. Recreate each other. Suffer. And recreate each other.
uh, for our, an encore is Shalom Rav. Is that okay? Oh, <laughs> 